and throw them in. Should we show them your cooling technique? Sure. I'm sure it's not new to everybody, but... <laughs> we live in Canada, so... That's hardened, too. Yeah, we harden everything we make here. Yeah. Let me recline a little bit, guys. Uh, yeah. Uh, welcome back to another episode of Dad's Toy Garage. Uh, we're back on Project Snake Charmer, our 1972 Sleeka EcoBoost swap. Um, today we're going to be working on engine mounts and finishing those up. I'm pretty excited to see those come together. Uh, so follow along with uh, me and Tony, and we have a special guest showing up at the shop today, a good friend of mine, Mateus. And uh, us three guys are going to be working on a little bit of uh, fun getting this motor going. Uh, well, not running, but getting the engine mounts ready so that we can work on wiring it up in the near short future and maybe give it a test fire. So Tony's just uh, starting up on the engine mount mock-up and uh, using some cardboard to get uh, where the, what do you call that piece that you're making? Oh, this would be the plate that will directly bolt onto the engine and then we'll, uh, we'll this will go here, and then we'll build our bracketry from here out to, to have our engine mount somewhere around here. On, so. the, on the Miata subframe? Yeah, uh, there or here, I'm not sure yet. Hey, what are you building there? Uh, trans brace, uh, or trans mount, and uh, it's a frame brace kind of in one there. So we're going to weld the cross member out because because our subframe will be so easy to remove anyways. So, um, and this mounts right at the back of the transmission. So it shouldn't interfere with removing engine or transmission. Yeah, so try to cut it out and then the trans, uh, trans mount will drop into the hole that I'm cutting here. So he's got the hole for where the transmission's going to sit in cut out. So that's that part. And I'm working on engine mounts for the templates that he gave me. This is where I'm at, and right now I'm about to start drilling holes for where the engine mount bolts are going to go through. You like cutting oil when you um, use this kind of small thing? The other one's stronger. Okay. That one just disintegrates for some reason. Yeah. Um, yeah, it seems to. You like, I've, I've just always used just penetrating fluid. Yeah. But that definitely seems to work good too. It hangs on better than penetrating oil, eh? What's that? The cutting oil. Yeah. Doesn't last very long, but... I'll just uh, do the rest with this. Yeah, that's fine. It's not much draining. Tony! I think you should make those notches for drain a little bigger yet, once yeah, you get a chance. Yeah, now that I'm grinding it down. Put there, hey? Eh? Yeah. Just so that, like, a little piece of dirt can work. What about, what about when stone... What about a bigger stone? It's not going to get in there, hey? Eh? No, it shouldn't. Okay. Unless we go, uh, rallying. This is what my uh, trans mount looks like. Now it's done. Um, I'm pretty impressed with that. Hey? I'm pretty impressed with that. Thanks. Yeah, it's a pretty simple design, but that's always the best, right? Yeah. So, um, took the time to make everything so no sharp corners and stuff this time. Haven't always done that, but... Uh, and then we offset it a little bit because our engine's a little bit this towards the passenger side. So, so is this then just a little bit. Um, I think about three quarter inch. And then, so I'll just have to hammer it into place here. It's a little bit wider than my. Nice tight fit, eh? Yeah. So I'll, I'll kind of try to center it on the bolt holes and then we'll be ready to weld. Yeah, it's definitely looking better than uh, some of my weld towns, so I think 
I think your welder tends to be on the hot side. I think so too, but I can turn it down. No, like, like all I mean is, uh, if you've got two pieces of metal, don't use the thicker one. You know what? I was thinking about this. I'm a little concerned with uh, welding on this other car, thin steel. Yeah. And I think it has to do with a 030 wire. I was running a thinner wire for this. Oh, on, okay. the, on the other welder, so yeah. I might get two spools there and then. Well, there we go. That's the trying to. You got it just the tops done or what? Yeah. Do you want me to try to weld the bottom or are we going to lift it up later and do that or what do you think? Um, we could jack it if you want. But, okay. uh, but maybe get the sides for now. Yeah, I did the top and the sides. Okay. <laughs> Tell me what you're working on here. Uh, I got uh, these awesome pieces. Uh, Tony kind of. I uh, laid out the design I got to make. I got this one and another one. This is the second one is our engine mount bracket. And uh, I drilled the bottom to it. I got to drill the top hole. And that's where we'll be bolting this plate right onto the engine block. And then we're going to put a flange on both sides just to get a little bit extra strength. And that's what, how far these pieces are going to go. And maybe you want to show them the other rubber parts that you got. Sure. So. We were trying to find an engine mount kit and we came up with this. Um, this is a kit for uh, steering and suspension. It's a radius arm bushing for a 95 F-150 with a twin traction beam or a, um, independent, uh, yeah, with the, with the two twin traction beam. Anyways, so basically we'll have, I guess, the weight of the engine sitting on the, the fat rubber and the way to the, and, and then this one will be there to uh, control the torque. You turn those we'll around? A, hey? Just turn them so I can yeah. see them? Yeah. Oh, sorry. Yeah, like that. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, we'll have, like, the engine will be sitting on here, and then we'll have a the frame on here and then a bolt up through both of them. And uh, the reason we're going with such small mounts is because we're planning on doing a heavier uh, torque control arm or whatever you want to call that, uh, um, a torque torsion control engine mount on top of the engine, uh, which this engine originally didn't have, but uh, this way we can fit a small mount into the small space we have near the subframe. These are two engine plates uh, for the engine mounts. They'll be the parts that are bolting on. It's the one I just previously showed you guys. We've got to put a fold in here. We're going to put some strength, extra strength into there. Uh, Tony's right now in the car uh, doing thinking. <laughs> I don't know if we'll be able to see him in here. Hey, but, hey there he is. He's he's c coming up with a strategy for the rest of what we need to mount this engine. Um, yeah, but I'm pretty pretty excited. We got the transmission mounted. It just really needs to be bolted down. We'll finish up the welds on the bottom. It's got the top and the sides done. We'll finish up the welds once we kind of figure out a way we want to tip this car over. And the thinker pose is on. All right, so this is the, uh, what are you calling these parts, Tony, that we're mounting on the block right now? Well, uh, that would be the block part, the, just, I guess, the part that uh, block adapter part of the engine mount. Yeah. So we're kind of trying to figure out, still haven't figured out 100% how we're doing this. <laughs> well, we'll, uh, we'll work on it until, when we weld and cut, I guess, until we figure something out, right? Yeah, I think so. So, John? Hi. Uh, welcome to uh, the garage. What are you working on there? Uh, grinding away the firewall. We don't need that, hey? No. Perfect. No, faster this way. Right on. <laughs> so what are you working on, Tony? Uh, working on the engine mount. Um, I guess the cradle side of it. So just try this washer will just sit about here somewhere. With uh, and then the engine rubber, engine mount rubber is gonna sit in here, and then uh, the engine mount, <coughs> the part that bolts to the engine, will have a flange that sticks out this way. Um, so there'll be rubber piece, flange, another rubber piece, bolt. Cool. So, so I'm trying to get this cut in the master way that Devin showed me to figure out <laughs> exactly what size of metal you need. So, something like that. Uh, Tony rigged up these uh, engine mount pieces. Uh, that's where our engine mount is going to sit. Originally we were, if you bring the camera over here, we were on this spot here. That's factory for the Miata. We're bringing it back because that will just kind of line up nicely with our motor. 
And uh, for those rubber pieces that we've, I think we've shown you guys already, if not, you'll see them yet. We're going to weld that on there, and then we'll have a, be able to bolt it through there. Something like that, right? Yeah, not on, not on the bottom, bolt coming in from the top. Yep, yeah, that's right. Do some welding? Yeah. Nice, that was good. Oh man, you gotta check those welds out. I control them? Oh yeah, those ones you control people. Okay. <laughs> I'm happy with those. <laughs> that does look good. Alright. <laughs> it would burn if I held this, eh? It probably uh, would in my your gloves. gloves. Are, my gloves are smoking a little bit. So those are, uh, those are the um, See if we lower can... end mounts, right? Yeah, my gloves are smoking, but we'll bring them up close. <laughs> <laughs> so, what, um, from what I understand, Tony's been doing a lot of thinking and I'm doing a lot of trusting because he's a mechanic and I'm not. So, we got these brackets both welded in there now, and they're going to house... We'll just take a close up of these. House on there. We're going to weld them onto there like that, and then we'll have our rubber bushing sit in those cups. And it's got a weld nut now, so I think I'm happy with that because I feel like it's really good engineering. So easy to take out if we need to. Yeah. W when we need to. I, I kind of like Tony's uh, build theory on his 49 Merc. Everything is easy to work on. Everything has got a, a weld nut, right? So yeah. Yeah. I, I don't know if I did nuts and bolts anywhere other than fenders so far. Yeah, I, and I think that's awesome, especially on a build like this where we'll probably break things multiple times and pull it apart and put it back together. Yeah, at the, at the moment when we're building it, who knows how often we'll have to take it apart just to build it, right? So, yeah, that's right. Yeah. Yeah, um, yeah just center, the, center them and then tack them in place. Okay. And then uh, we'll be able to fine tune it with where we, how we do the engine piece that we weld on onto the engine plate, so. Because at this point, we can put Actually, our, our cross member back under. Hang on, don't weld that yet. I'm just thinking now. Okay. It would be easy to make a minute adjustment and weld it with the engine in place on here to do this yeah, a little I bit. Agree with that. So let's leave them for now. Change of plans. Alright. <laughs> well, you want me to show you what I'm working on? Yeah, let's see what you're working on. So these are, uh, are uh, the engine mount. So the, the engine block will be here, that plate that we made uh, the other time. And then we're going to have a little brace this way. This hole is here for the rubber to slide into, so the hole will be this size. And then, yeah, so this will be the engine sitting down, and then the uh, the bottom rubber piece will be underneath, and then the top one, just to control the torque, will be on top, and all be clamped together. Give us a little bit of vibration, dampening or whatever. Cool. So, get to do some drilling, and hopefully the whole saw lasts. And, uh, everybody say hi, Mateus. Another friend of mine here to hang out while we work in the shop. Dangerous one. All right, so Tony and Mateus and I, combination effort, uh, we got some more shaping done on these and now we're ready to throw them in the car somehow. Cut a little bit more of this off yet. Okay. So we probably, I would say, probably need to come in about a quarter inch yet. You want a little less? Because um... right now this isn't sitting in the right spot. Okay. And then we also want to take, to make sure we clear the alternator, you need to round it off there a bit. Yeah. I'm gonna we're gonna go by starting here and go like this. Uh, so Tony's just working on the uh, driver's side uh, engine mount bracket there. And we're gonna turn that into a T yet. And we got the cup welded in to the cross member here. And then this is just tacked up. It's going to be teed yet, but that's the mount for the passenger side. Now we're working on the uh, passenger side engine mount, and I'm just going to weld in the last piece, and then it should be ready to roll. This is our triangulated brace.
is our passenger side engine mount. We put a one inch rectangle tube. Not quite sure the wall thickness, but it's thick enough. And sits in the car. Let's see if we can just get it sitting there. It's gonna kinda go in this area here. We don't have the I don't have the rubber bushings with me, but that's where it's gonna sit. Hot. <laughs> I'm just going to get the brakes on our driver's side engine mount and I'm going to do some welding there. Uh, that's what the uh, driver's side will look like. Some good weld weldage going on there. And uh, we'll have to let them cool and paint them and uh, and throw them in. Should we show them your cooling technique? Sure. I'm sure it's not new to everybody, but... <laughs> we live in Canada, so... That's hardened, too. Yeah, we harden everything we make here. Yeah. Guys, I just wanted to show uh, what this engine mount looks like. Uh, not all the bolts are in it, but we got it kind of mocked up in place there. And I'm pretty excited. It looks pretty good. The dry and then the passenger side. If you're in North America, I'll set that there. Without the without the bushing sitting in there, it's kind of where it's gonna sit. So let's pull one out of there and have a look see. So that's right there, and we triangulate it with a one inch square tube. I think I mentioned that before. Alright, thanks guys for joining uh, the three of us today for another episode of Dad's Toy Garage. We had a lot of fun. Uh, we come up, came up with some cool engineering stuff. And uh, yeah, so until next time, we'll talk to you later.